situation is far worse than any official agency has stated, far, far worse and getting worse by the day. But when you look at frontline data, frontline film footage of eroding shorelines with villages toppling into the sea and ice disappearing, you don't need to believe any official agency. You need to believe your own eyes. And too few people are willing to do that now. More on that later in this broadcast, but they have disconnected their sense of reason and logic and even their sense of vision to believe the official narrative or their own ideology. And that simply does not help our predicament. And we are all in an unimaginable predicament. If we continue on this course, it will very, very soon be game over for all of us. It's a mathematical fact. Another headline. Scientists say expect more than one expect more one thousand year events like the Louisiana flood. Now, here we have, again, our, quote, scientists who won't acknowledge the giant elephant in the room of climate engineering, and yet we're taught to believe those, quote, experts without questioning, just like we're taught to believe the, quote, experts in the medical community who refuse, refuse to look at the data, refuse to question the instructions the medical industrial complex has given them in order to ensure their paychecks and pensions. And this is simply a society of cowards at that point, absolute cowards. But the truth will come out. There will be no hiding it from climate engineering to the massive crimes of the medical industrial complex. The truth will come out. So on the thousand year floods with geoengineering covering the planet, affecting the climate system, and I'm not saying we wouldn't have those floods without geoengineering because the damage done to the climate system now is so horrific and a warmer atmosphere carries more moisture, we will absolutely have immense flooding if and when climate engineering is brought to a stop. But that's the planet trying to cool itself. Hurricanes are still being suppressed in the Atlantic Basin. Does anybody wonder why nothing spins up in the Gulf of Mexico in spite of unimaginably hot temperatures? Louisiana was used for a moisture pump, by the way, to try to help cool some of the eastern and central U.S. So that moisture was allowed to be pumped in the atmosphere, pushed north, and ice nucleated to try to cool down some of the areas that are still superheating. So Louisiana, in many senses, was a climate sacrifice zone that just occurred. And, and you can separate nothing from climate engineering at this point, nothing, because the whole system is tainted. We can't consider any weather event natural at this point. We can't. 70 years of geoengineering, climate engineering, this historical fact proven by Senate documents, presidential reports, all of which are on geoengineeringwatch.org. For those who care, look, because your future and your children's future depends on us exposing and stopping climate engineering and a lot of other issues that need to be addressed after that. But climate engineering should be, must be, our first and top priority. Another headline, wildfire burns with ferocity never seen by fire crews. From that report, a wildfire with a ferocity never seen before by veteran California firefighters raced up and down canyon hillsides, instantly engulfing homes and forcing thousands of people to flee, some running for their lives just ahead of the flames. This area burnt my home region where I'm from, in Oak Hills, California. And I've seen that terrain change. It was changing even before I moved away some 18 years ago now, something like that, it was changing rapidly because the entire planet's changing and helping to fuel that change is the deliberate climate intervention programs that are going on, the pharmaceutical approach to planet Earth for the power structure to try to hide the severity of climate damage from the population for as long as possible by using weather as a weapon, which is historical fact, by the way, has radically worsened an already bad climate situation. Another headline, record heat in U.S. Northwest, Southwest Oregon to shatter records at 110 degrees. It's hot everywhere, with few exceptions where there's enough moisture to chemically nucleate and cool things down. So when those in power can make it snow over the pyramids or can kill 30 or 40,000 alpacas in South America with chemically nucleated snow and ice storms, Many people see those headlines and convince themselves, as the quote I read in the beginning of this broadcast states, they convince themselves nothing's wrong. Big mistake. Look at the facts. Another headline. China endures worst heat wave in 140 years. It's from USA Today, by the way. And that heat wave is still enduring. It's been enduring for several weeks. No end in sight.